<clears throat> Hello, my daughter, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. How are you today? And you? Good, good. Very good, teacher. Okay, ready. Good. Yes. How was the day? Yes. How was your day? Good. A lot of good. work or not too much work? Very good. Hard work. Hard work. Yes. Okay. And the others coming in. Yes. Okay, good. Now we have Mary, Maria, right? So, okay, good. How was the test? Was it easy? Did you answer the exam? Somebody's. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Okay, good. Waiting for the students. Waiting for all my participants here. But, okay. Let's. How was the exam? Was it easy? Yes, huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Is everybody updated with the, with the platform? Yes. So well, you still need some um, some more time because uh, remember that. Well, today we're going to start with uh, section four. Section four for this week. So it's going to be relatively easy in the platform because you only have to do one section. So you will have time to to catch up if you haven't done the sections one, two, and three yet. So wait, wait. Don't forget to turn off your microphones if you are not speaking. Okay, where is section three, section four here? Okay, here we are. Uh, what do we have in this session? We are going to learn vocabulary for describing people. What is that? What kind of vocabulary do you think it is? Tall. Mm -hmm. Short. Sure. So we're going to talk about height. Uh, we're going to talk about 
uh, physical appearance, right? Weight. The weight, uh -huh, exactly. What else? Different age, color of face. Uh -huh, the color of the hair. Complexion. The complexion, yes. Color of eyes. The color of your eyes, correct. Right. Okay, so this is the kind of vocabulary that that we are going to use to to describe right somebody's appearance, physical appearance, right? And let me see. We have now I can, I can use it this way. It's too uncomfortable for me. Okay. Okay, turn off your microphones because I'm going to play the, the video. And then you will be able to listen. Just let me share the computer sound so that you can listen as well. And here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, Short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hair, appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay. So as you can see here in this... Um, height, short. In this portion, in this of this section, the important thing is, you know, how to use this vocabulary, right? The vocabulary that we have, and how to give a brief description of the hair. So for example, in this case, it's long, the color is brown, hair. Then you have short, blonde, hair. A straight black hair, curly. See that first is the shape, the, the shape of the hair, long, short, straight, curly. And then after we use the color, okay? Brown, blonde, black, red. And at the end, the noun. Okay, then we are using hair. So long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, so then you can see the curly, okay? This is a straight, the opposite. And here we have the color. Then we have bold, no hair, okay, no hair. Then you have a mustache, okay, a mustache, and a beard, beard, okay? with a D, beard. Then we talk about the age, okay, John, middle age, elderly, okay? John can be probably, what, from, from zero to 35 maybe, or 40, right? This is from probably from 40 to 60, okay? 50 
and then elderly after 60. Okay, when that is the moment of retirement. Then the appearance looks, we have a person who is handsome, okay, and pretty. Okay, for men, handsome, for women, pretty. And intermediate for both, then you can say good looking. We can say that the woman, the lady is good looking and also the man. So the guy here is also good looking. Then we have short. Okay, this is for the height, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. Okay, now listen again. Short. Section 9. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. <clears throat> hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, good. Now, uh, Elena, can you please read this objective here? It says, in this session. In this session, session, participants will listen to the conversation between two people describing another person. Adjective of appearance will be practiced. It will be practiced. Okay, very good. Now pay attention to the adjectives of appearance that they use in this conversation. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of <clears throat> appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. What color is her hair? Now you can see here, now the, the words that they are using to describe the appearance is uh, gorgeous, right? She's gorgeous, you know, beautiful, amazing, pretty, okay? So then what does she look like? She's tall, six feet two. Uh, what color is her hair? red hair and <laughs> she won't tell the age right but you know apparently probably she she looks young right so she's young uh, she has red hair uh, she's very tall and she is gorgeous right and like very nice person very beautiful okay so then this is his description okay this is the let's say the, the opinion, okay, of in, in this case of Randy about his girlfriend. Okay, now any questions or vocabulary from this conversation?
No questions? No. Okie dokie. So then if you have no questions. No teacher. Perfect, perfect. There. And how old is she? Another I don't know. She won't tell me. And now it says, in this session, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. Okay. So now we have some vocabulary about appearance. We have how to use it in a conversation. And now how you ask questions to another person and how they answer those questions describing the appearance of that person. Now let's listen. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. She's 6 feet 2, about 32. She's in her 30s. She's gorgeous. General appearance. What does she look like? Okay, so this is the first question, right? When we're talking about what does she look like is a very general uh, question. Therefore, uh, the answer is also very general, right? She's tall, uh, red hair, and she's gorgeous, right? If you want to give a uh, some other information probably you can but it's always very general does he wear glasses if you see here this is a little bit more specific right you say yes and he has a beard right so then you can say does he wear glasses yes and he has a mustache and a beard okay when you talk about the age you can say how old is she she's about 32, okay, if you have that uh, that idea, okay, that she could be probably around that age, or she's in her 30s, right? When you see a person, for example, when I see Manuel Alberto, I think that he's in his 20s, okay, he's very young. No, Manuel, Manuel Alberto, you are in your 20s, right? Yes, teacher. You are in your twenties. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, no. I I am in my in my thirties. I am in my thirties. Hundred ten. Oh, we are almost similar age. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you see, when you say, for example, in your thirties, can be 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, that's in your 30s, okay, around that age. Okay, uh, you can also use the expression early, early 30s. Okay, that would be from 30 to 34, more or less. You can say mid 30s, 
that would be about 35. Uh, let's say 34, 35, 36. Okay, and then you can say late 30s, that would be probably 37, 38, 39. When you are leaving, abandoning the age, the decade of the 30s, right? So then you can have also early, mid, or late 30s, okay, depending on on how how you you use that expression. How old is he? He is in his 20s. Okay, he is in his 20s. She is in his 20s. They are in their 20s. Okay, so you're going to use this 20s in plural. She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. Okay, here probably this is the one that we use, right? She's 1 meter 88. Uh, in the United States, more common, she's 6 feet 2, which is more or less 1 meter and 88 centimeters too. Okay, but we don't, we don't, um, we don't feel comfortable with this one, probably. Only if you, but if you know how to use it, no problem. You can use both. Teacher, his, yes. his, his medication height is she six feet, feet two? Okay. What is two? Inches. Inch, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. We say, for example, she's one meter, 88 centimeters. And here is six feet, two inches. Okay, this is in centimeters and this is in inches. Right, so we have two inches. Okay, how tall is he? He's quite short. Okay, he's quite short. Not like kind of, okay, not very, but quite you know, similar to very. She's six feet two. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. Okay, medium length, probably, probably the shoulders, right, for women? Yes, this is medium, right? So you have short, probably here to the neck, a little bit lower than the ears. Probably middle would be maybe the the shoulders and then after if you go down is long right what color is his hair it's dark brown it's light brown okay remember the other day we were talking about dark okay brown is the color right but depending on the intensity of the color you can have light or you can have dark Okay, light brown and dark brown. Remember the curtains that I have here in the back? They are dark brown, okay? So there are other colors that may be beige, for example, is in the middle, right? A color like this or, <laughs> I don't know, right? So there are some other colors that, you know, I am terrible at talking about colors, so then I better give no my opinion in that sense, <laughs> all right? He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, physically, what does he or she look like? Or what do you look like? Suppose uh, if you are talking to a person on, on the phone, on the telephone, or then you don't know the physical appearance of that person, then you can say, we're going to meet today, but I don't know you. What do you look like? Okay. How old are you? Or you can say, how tall are you? Okay. 
even when you see a person, you can ask that person, right? How tall are you? Okay, I guess the next one is the knowledge check, but we won't do that one now because I want to show you something else. Just give me a minute to. Now we're going to do an exercise. Now you're going to think about famous people, right? Famous people, actors, actresses, and probably, a, well, I don't know. I'll show you. Just let me see. First, let me prepare this for you. You know the name of an, an, an actor? Okay, I will give you this one. After that, you can change it if you want. All right. Are we ready? Okay, can you see the screen now? Yes. Okay, when we talk about right here, I wrote, for example, let's say that Sylvester versus who? Jordan. Okay, so then here, for example, I, I, I said it. Uh, he is tall, Sylvester Stallone, right? And he's very tall, Michael Jordan. Okay, what about someone who is short? Think about somebody that is short, but talk, think about famous people. People that everybody knows, that everybody knows. Okay. I was thinking about that one. You read, you read my mind. Okay, let me check. For example, Danny DeVito. I think he's something like this, right? I'm not sure. Okay. Who else? He's quite short. Less, less than Danny. The Tyrion, the game was wrong. Who? Tyrion, the game was wrong. How do you spell that? Tyrion. Tyrion. Oh, Tyrion. T H I H I R. Um. I O. Y. Y. Oh, Y. Y O N. Thank you. Okay, he is quite short, Tyrion. Okay, then you can say Tyrion is quite short, Danny DeVito is short, then Sylvester Stallone is tall, Michael Jordan is very tall. Okay, now somebody who is uh, average, normal, or medium height. Famous. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Now, who? someone who is relatively normal height. Okay. 
Okay, anybody can answer. Relatively, relatively normal height. Probably normal height could be 170 to 180. Okay. Who? Come on, come on, come on. Maybe Cameron Diaz. Okay, very good. Yes, yeah. I think Cameron. She is. She. Now we're gonna change that. Don't worry about that. We can change that. Okay. Okay. Okay, Diaz. I don't have a tilde, so I won't write it. So we can write here. She. Okay. Here we go. And the first one is she too, because uh, the answer is yellow. Thank you. Okay. Good. Then here you can, you can see, for example, think about it, and then you are already describing people. For example, when you say, okay, um, what about, uh, who's Sylvester Stallone? What is he like? Or what does he look like? Oh, well, he's tall, then uh, strong. Uh, I don't know, probably right now might be gray, short hair, maybe because he's old. He's uh, elderly, I guess, because now I think he's more than 60, maybe. I'm not very sure. <clears throat> okay. Now, who's skinny? Like very thin. Yeah, this one is you know when people are sick. No, yes, this is uh, doctors use this one, right? You know, that's why. That is a uh, when you see this kind of complexion or build, I mean, you say, well, yeah, there are people that there are very few people probably. Uh, now you don't see much on TV, but before I think it was this famous actress, a uh, singer from the department. Ah, uh, Angelina. Angelina was going in. That. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Angelina Jolie, right? Yes, she was going on anorexic because she had some problems. Okay, so you can you can give a description about her, right? And a skinny, very thin. She actress the Sex in the City. Uh, no remember name. Sex in the City. She is is she. No, I no remember. Uh, let me see. Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker. Parker. Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Huh? Sarah Jessica Parker. That's Working. right. Uh huh. Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes. Okay. Yes, just one. Then let's Google it. Yeah, Jessica. Okay. You see, now you are thinking about appearances and then you have an image of that person. When you see the word skinny, okay, like her more or less, right? Probably it's not exactly right, but you know, that gives you an idea. Okay, uh, somebody who is underweight, probably, the ideal weight, for example, is suppose 100, in my case, is 170. But if you have more, it's overweight. If you have less than 170, you are underweight. Okay? Who do you think is underweight? Think about an actor, actress, singer. For example, the what was the name of the ex uh, ex J Lo's husband, uh, Mark, right? Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Right. So he looks underweight. Okay, so he looks very. I mean, he looks 
thin, but less than his weight, right? Okay, who is thin? Julia Roberts. Julia, okay. Exactly. Julia Roberts. A slim is similar, right? It's similar to that. Okay, and who is fat? Pito Celaya, right? <laughs> no, nobody, yes, that's just one. Who else? Who else? Ah, but it's now let's think, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, you know, Salvadorian players. Okay, and let's say here we can use he. Another fat, famous people. Could be he or she. Come on, think about somebody. Adele. Adele. Well, she, she lost weight after that. Yeah. Uh -huh, but there, there was a mom. Now I think that she's slim, right? But, but she was. Okay, somebody who is overweight. Could be. He or she. Maradona. Maradona. <laughs> Yes, Maradona. El Cordon Max. Eh, el Cordon Max. Yes. <laughs> eh, eh, no, there is this one. Uh, eh, Ronaldo, right? Ronaldo. Eh, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Uh -huh, yes. Shaquille O'Neal. They are very fat. And there one, Magic Johnson, remember? Okay, now he's over. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Now, somebody who has blonde. Okay, blonde or fair is they are similar meanings. Okay, they have similar meanings. Who is blonde? I don't know, but you tell me. I just say pintado, no, but okay, she has. Blonde, blonde hair. Okay, we can say that she has has long. Okay, she has long hair. What else? What about brown hair? Jennifer Lawrence. Who? Jennifer? Lawrence. Lawrence. Yes. Okay. And brunette, look. The color of the skin. Okay. I'm going to put it here. Okay, what else? Brunette is color of skin. Yes. Okay. Look at my like my color. Red hair. Rupert Green. Rupert. Like this. Green. Is run for Harry Potter. Ah, okay, yes. Green with double N. Okay, you can call it redhead, right? Black hair. Johnny Depp. 
what's this one? Johnny can read. Johnny Depp, something like that. What's the name of this guy? Okay, Johnny Depp. Depp, right? Yes. In gray hair? Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Oh, yes. The one from Pretty Woman, right? Richard Gere. I don't remember if it is Gere. Is that correct? Only one E. One, one E, right? Yes. Yes. Okie dokie. And then you have the one green eyes. Okay. You can write here. We have a yan, right? That's me. Okay, look at my green eyes. No lo van a ver por because of my glasses, but uh, also Juan Navas, right? Green eyes. Yes, Juan or no? No. No. He's brown. No, 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 no gray hair. No gray. No, he's okay. brown teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're gonna write Juan, brown eyes. Okay, who in this class who has gray gray eyes? Nobody? Nobody in this class? Astrid, Andres, Alan, Paulo, Maria, no? Nobody. Do you know a person with gray, no. gray eyes? No. No. Okay, green eyes. There are many no. people in El Salvador with green eyes. No. Okay, blue eyes. Nicole Kidman. Leonardo DiCaprio. Nicole. Nicole Kidman. And Leo. Okay, Leo DiCaprio. And dark eyes, you know, like sometimes can be kind of black. Okay. In English, when you say black eyes, it's when somebody hits you. And then you have a black eye. So then when you have it, that's why they use. Black eyes. Is when you have a purple eye, right? So black eyes, the majority of people, right? The majority of people have dark eyes. Okay, and then you have about long hair, short hair. Then uh, you have, uh, what else? Type of complexions, Asian. Uh, we can say that. Dark screen. Probably, what's the name of this actor? Jackie. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Uh -huh, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah. Jackie Chan. Uh, white skin, we have, we have many, right? For example, we have a, I don't know. Um, who's one of the famous? Nicole uh, Kidman uh, is white. Yes, Nicole Kidman. Harrison Ford. Okay, uh, Harrison Ford. Okay, Harrison Ford. Now black. We have Michelle. Will Smith. Michelle Obama, yes. Also, you have uh, a Will Smith. Rihanna. Rihanna, yes. Okay. And she's white. She has light 
tan skin. Tan is like bronceado, right? Oh, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Wow, what a memory. Jennifer Aniston. Okay, and she's why and she has a very pale skin. This is Nicole Kidman. Yes. Nicole Kidman, and there is another one. The one that is in a movie with Adam Sandler. 51st Dates. What's the name of that? Um, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Yeah, she's also, she looks pale. Yeah, Drew. Very more, very more. I think something like this. I don't remember. With the other eye, I think. It's... Charlie Chaplin. Charles Chaplin. Okay. So you see here, for example, these are uh, expressions on how to the complexions, right? Then you have the the eyes, the hair. Okay, different. Okay. Uh, different ways to describe people. Okay. Now we're gonna have a like, couple of minutes in which uh, I'm going to ask you to work in, first describe yourself. I'm gonna make groups, groups of three. And then you describe yourself to the group, okay? And after, uh, and after that, Think about uh, the group, think about an actor or an actress or a singer, a famous person, and you will describe that person, okay? So then this is what we're going to do right now. First, describe your person, your, your uh, physical appearance. For example, I am, uh, I am, let me see, quite, quite tall. I am one meter and 70 centimeters. I am a little overweight. Uh, I am, uh, let's say I have short uh, gray hair. Uh, I have mustache. And I am, uh, what else? I am in the, let's say mid forties, mid thirties. No, I am in the fifties. Okay, and what else? What else can I say? Only that. Okay, so then this is how you describe yourself. All right, now let's see. Seven, eight, here we go.
Otar Brown. I don't. <laughs> and I am. Um, uh, brunette. Brunette. Mm -hmm. Your skin is brunette. Yes. I yes. Am. Me too, brunette. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. you are not brunette. I think you are a uh, white person. No, and do I? I see a skin is white, but <laughs> Anis is uh, I don't trigueña. Yeah. Yes, a brunette. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and skinny. I am skinny. Only that. Okay. Maria, your turn. Okay. Okay. I am a blondie. A, I am a dark eyes. I am short, very short. <laughs> a, I am I am Viendo el estado ahí. Pero vamos a ver lo que tengo ahí hasta ahorita. Hey, teacher. Hello. I have a question. Uh -huh. What's the question? I am a brown complexion or... Brunette. Mm -hmm. Brunette, you can say that it's uh, the color of your skin is brunette. I am brunette. Uh, skin is like... skin brown. No, it's not necessary. It's I am brunette. Okay, Brunette. just like me. Mm -hmm. Could you write in the chat, please? Okay, here. There you go. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, continue on this. Okay. Go ahead. Anyway, cualquiera de las dos. Luis, your case is slim or fat? Slim, slim is or fat? Es igual, los los dos dicen delgado. No, slim no. Thin yes. No. no. Slim. Uh, slim. In your case, it's slim. Not the gordo. Uh, slim or fat? No. Uh, underweight. Underweight is gordo. Sobrepeso. Nope. Yes. No. Fat? Slim fat or gordo? Underweight is less. Overweight is like me. No? Over. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> what, what, what is your idea? Like? Uh, 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 uh. I am, I am a slim. Uh -huh. And what is your, your ideal weight? Weight uh, is weight in one centimeter. No, your weight. weight. What is your ide ah, ideal, the is, ideal weight? What is your peso is ideal? Fat. Ah, it's fat. No, su peso ideal, ¿cuál es? Your ideal weight. Is delgado. No, ¿cuál es su peso ideal? En... 140 libras, 130. Ah, peso, eh, peso, ¿Qué debería de ser? 170. ¿Y pesa? 169, por ahí. Usted está abajo. Estoy abajo. Ajá, Ajá entonces es underweight. Es slim en underweight. underweight. Oh. Ok. Ok. El mío es de 170 mm. también, pero peso 200. Pero yo estoy <laughs> overweight. Okay. You got it. Over and under. Okay. And ideal. Okay. Ideal. Okay. You have an ideal. And then in the appearance, in the appearance is thin or is fat or they say medium weight. Okay. 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 Depende también de la complexión física de los o estructura ósea, right? A veces no ve muy gordo una persona, pero pesado. Right, so that's a 
Okay. Tip of mine, or tip of mine. <laughs> really, yeah, I, I am undergoing. I am okay. You see. <laughs> All right. I am undergoing. Uh, okay. So minor is underway. <laughs> just the appear. It's just the appearance. Okay. Julia. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another one. She's light brown eyes. She's thin. She's tall. She's a straight red hair. Um, she's a tan skin. A skin? Hmm? Why a skin? It's similar. Tan or white. Mm -hmm. White skin. and tan. White and tan. It can be brunette and, and tan. tan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Having fun. Oi. Hi, teacher. Hey, Luis. Hi, Javier. How are you? Fine. Hey. Nice. Look, look at Man look at Manuel. Very happy. Huh? Very happy. No. Very happy. happy man. Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. No problem, no questions? No. Okay. We have thinking about the artist. Okay, good. So you describe yourselves already. Perfect. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am Verdell. I am George. I am Shorty. I am Brown. Ace. I am Finn. I am brown hair. I have black hair. I am brown. I am tall. I have brown eyes. I think I have long hair. I have a beard. A beard. A beard. A beard. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay, people. Thank you very much. Okay, good. How was the description? Is it good? Okay, then uh, probably just to, to wrap up, remember that when you're going to give a description about yourself, you can say, well, my name is Luis, I am 51, I am a, I am kind of tall, I am a quite tall, I am uh, only tall, okay? And they say, I am uh, overweight, uh, I have a mustache, I have a short gray hair, and I have a dark eyes, dark brown eyes, and that's it, right? And then you can uh, you can write uh, the the description about yourself. And when you talk about another person, it's very similar. 
Okay, you can say, uh, for example, uh, Jennifer Aniston is uh, 50 years old. She is uh, she's short. She is uh, she has long yes long blonde hair. Yeah, she has long blonde hair. Uh, she's she's got blue eyes. So she has blue eyes. Uh, she is uh, white skin. Uh, she's white tanned skin. Because like if she goes to the beach. And uh, what else? And she's gorgeous. She's pretty. She's good looking. She's beautiful. Depends on how you find her, right? If you, for you is beautiful, beautiful. She's gorgeous, gorgeous. She's only pretty, pretty. And she's only good looking, good looking. Remember that that is your your appreciation, right? How you see people. Okay, it's your opinion. Okay, you, uh, for other person, probably in a ah, nah, she's ugly. Oh, nah, it's okay. But for other people, she might be beautiful. Okay, so it depends on the on your opinion. Okay, so tomorrow uh, we're going to practice giving more descriptions about third people, not about you. you today you practice the vocabulary. Check the vocabulary on the on the videos. I will uh, prepare the, the the page that I that you saw today, and I will send it to you so that you can also practice with that vocabulary for tomorrow, okay? Okay, everybody. Okay. So have a very good night, and I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye.